to the opening link for another episode of Taskmaster. <laughs> like all good sporting competitions, you're about to see a group of athletes go head-to-head -head in a series of challenges until one of them proves themselves to be the very best. Unlike regulated sport, there are no restrictions on performance-enhancing drugs. Here at Taskmaster, we have a simple mantra. If it makes them more entertaining, let them gobble on illegals until the cows come home. <laughs> so here they are, five pumped-up roid heads. <laughs> on the edge of mental and physical collapse. <laughs> Daisy May Cooper! <laughs> Johnny Vegas! <laughs> Catherine Parkinson! <laughs> Mawan Rizwan! <laughs> and Richard Herring! <laughs> and next to me, it's the one and only, the brilliant, the talented, the charming, little Alex Horn! <laughs> 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 That's all right, very kind. I... Oh, I'm so sorry. I... <laughs> sorry, I... there's been a mix-up. That was the... the script for my godson's wedding. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'll just do that bit again. Here we are, and next to me is a man who wants to poo in a paddling pool. <laughs> it's little Alex <laughs> Horn! <laughs> Thanks, Greg. Right, let's get on with it, though, shall we? I wish that you would tell me what the prize category is. Granted. Today it's a rather special one, which I know is close to a lot of people's hearts. Yes, it's the best thing that is bigger at the top than the bottom. <laughs> like a funnel. So the person who's brought in the best thing that is bigger at the top than the bottom will get five mega points, and at the end of the show, the overall winner will take home some seriously top-heavy prizes. Lovely. Thank you. I am going to start with little Richard Herring. Ah, thank you. What thing have you brought in? It is a Cornetto. Oh, here it is. <laughs> Getting tapers down to a oh, point. Oh, it's, it's a tapered ice cream, all right. Oh. Have you been talking to Daisy about <laughs> how to choose the prizes for this? Ice cream? <laughs> <laughs> I just went literal. I went, look, what's bigger, better than... I couldn't really think of anything. Yeah, it's fine. So you had a little chat with Daisy and she said, look, just fall into your kitchen, grab the first, <laughs> one, <laughs> grab the first thing that you can and, uh, and get one point. Yeah. Good. Daisy. Uh, this could be the first time that you're not the worst at this round. Um, I have brought in a cotton bud wearing a pirate's hat <laughs> made out of a face <laughs> Yes, yeah, she's, she's made this for you. <laughs> <laughs> you. You've upped your game. Do you think? Yes. I call it Captain Bud Wash. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. No, that is true. I've confirmed that. It is what it is. <laughs> I, I get your strategy. It, it's it's not to focus on round one. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny, what have you brought in to beat those two? It's a huge part of everyone's life. Where would we be without it? It's a toilet. There it is. <laughs> he has genuinely brought in a toilet. It's bigger at the top than it is at the bottom. Otherwise, it would be a suppository. And did you genuinely bring this in from home? I genuinely brought that in from home, and I'm not happy with it, because them smaller tanks... I have to flush it four times oh, to God. shift anything with Hey, listen, you appreciate the converted. I'm a four-flush man. <laughs> well, I've got a couple of the Victorian ones, and I was never proud of when my dad came out of using that, and he went, that'd shift a bike. Yeah, they're amazing. <laughs> My grandmother's was exactly the same. You could put a live fox in that. <laughs> <it'd be> <laughs> one flush. <laughs> <laughs> Catherine, this is going to take some losing. <laughs> it's an acorn that would grow, obviously, into a, an oak tree. So here is the oak tree that the winner will get in approximately 200 years. <laughs> I mean, I quite like it. Tonight, they're going to get this. Yeah. Still small at the bottom. Well, that way up, it's bigger than... Big at the top. Big at the top, yeah, because it's upside down. Yeah, but it would be hanging from... I suppose it would be, Like that, it? wouldn't it? Yeah. I don't mind it, Catherine. I think Aww. it's pretty imaginative. I thought that you would understand it better than Alex, actually. Yeah, I couldn't get my head around it at all. It, it, it fulfils the criteria and it promises to fulfil the criteria even more. For a thousand years? Yeah, for a thousand years. Well done, you. Thank you. Hmm. Oh, go on. You're so unpredictable. <laughs> <Am> I? <laughs> 
<laughs> I've brought in something that we all use on a regular basis. It's a microphone in a microphone stand. Right. Here it is. <laughs> oh my God. And did you create that? Yeah, I basically made it for a show because I had this idea, yeah? You know, like a stand-up show, audience walk in, there's a mic and microphone stand on stage. Yeah. But I wanted to be that microphone stand and mic to maximise my stage time. And I'll be honest, the audience reaction, it deserved better. It was, it was <laughs> muted. Yeah. Yeah. I really like it. Cool. You've been in a very nice mood this evening. Yeah, I am so far. far. Acorn, microphone stand, Captain Bugwash, <laughs> Toilet and an ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> my favourite was Mawan's. Uh, Five points to Mawan Rizwan. Yeah. <laughs> my second favourite was Catherine's. Oh, four points for an acorn. Lovely oak tree. Well done, Catherine. So much potential. My third favourite was Johnny bringing an entire toilet in. Of course it is. Three points to Johnny Vegas. And my next favourite is Captain Budwash. Oh, Captain yeah. Budwash remarkably gets two points. I'm going to give one point to Richard Herring. <laughs> OK, we're off. All right, then. Let's get into the show proper. What have we got first? We have this. Your regular task involving a robotic golf caddy, many upturned picnic benches, a couple of chickens and a swivelling office chair. <laughs> Chicken! Are you talking to me? No. <laughs> Hello. Hey, man. Need some shades. Can we get you some shades? No. OK. Get to the finish... Get to that finish line, <laughs> clutching chicken number two. Get chicken number one across this start line <laughs> aboard radio-controlled Moan. Oh, not numbered chickens. <laughs> so that's going one way, you're going the other. You're going to have to swap chickens with the remote control, Catherine. OK. So you must sit on the office chair at all times. If ending touches the little robots, your attempt is over. Oh, these little robot things, they're brilliant. Yeah, little robots there. Your time starts now. <laughs> <laughs> He's off. Nice to see a little bit of footage from a retirement home. <laughs> <laughs> So it's a classic game of remote control to avoid the mini robots office chair chicken swap. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you summed it up. That's Lovely. exactly what it is. Let's crack on. <laughs> this looks like a pretty sweet game. OK, well, he's the youngest here by a considerable stretch, but will that help when it comes to swivel chair, caddy driving and chicken swapping? Let's see. It's more one with one. OK, ready? Come on, move along. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? Sorry, I didn't press off. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. That's how you do it. That's going to take some beating. Well, I thought it was going to be really hard to do. Mawan comes in, he made it look like everyone does it at home all the time. <laughs> it was so natural. He went off at exactly the same speed as the remote control golf caddy. Yeah, but they've all been raised with that yeah, technology. Exactly, yeah, exactly. What chicken remote Who have controls? Been? I mean, <laughs> because he's slightly younger. How old are you? 28. I'm not even that young. It's ridiculous <laughs> to suggest you look young, dressed as you are as a college professor. <laughs> <laughs> OK, I'm calling a time-out. Go and feast on some ads like the ravenous consumers you are. And when you return, we'll see the grown-ups having a go. <laughs> Welcome back to the show. I missed you. Next up, they're a perfect fit. It's Dick and Johnny. <laughs> oh! oh, OK. Nice. 
see there's some little robots here. Thank you, Johnny. I'm going to take your remote control off you now. That's one them I want another go at. You can have a go at lunch if you want. No, I'll just go on Amazon Prime. Yeah. Get myself <laughs> what, 50 benches. I mean, again, it sort of panned out exactly as I imagined it would pan out, really. Mm. Uh, Richard, <laughs> it looked like he was having a lovely day out with the other old people. <laughs> 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 Oh, some little robots there. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> and then within seconds, Johnny's life falls apart. It's my first experience of another electronic golf caddy. <laughs> Do forgive me. Sorry, have you, have you not played remote control to avoid the mini robots off the circuit? <laughs> 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 it was banned in our house. Yeah. I mean, it worked. Neither of them clashed with the little robots at any point, so they've, they've secured some times. Richard, Tick. Richard, four minutes 30. And how did Johnny do? Three minutes 40. He beat Richard. Currently in second place. Really? Yeah. Wow. That's bad. <laughs> um, <laughs> let's move on. Well, finally, brace yourselves. It's Daisy May Calf Park. Here. Right. When are you going to go, do you reckon? Well, that's in the bin, is it? Right. Sorry? Nothing. And. <laughs> okay. Oh, I can see the little robots. Okay. Oh, God. Come on, little buggers. <laughs> oh. Oh. No! No! Oh, God. Stop! Oh, God. Watch out for those little robots. Hmm, what's happened there? Yeah, nothing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> right, stop the clock, thank you, Daisy. Where's it gone? Did anything touch the little robot? Oh. I did. Yay! Now, Catherine. Yeah. I'm not going to stop the clock yet. Can you remember what the task was? Chicken had to be on it. Yeah. It's number two, isn't it? Well, all the information's on the task. Yeah, it's in the bin. <laughs> number one. You didn't do it. Go, 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 go. <laughs> well done, Catherine. You've completed the course. I hate robots, androids. <laughs> Anything yeah, futuristic. If that's what the future looks like, it can fuck off. <laughs> I mean, it isn't, it isn't what the future looks like. No. <laughs> I had a remote control car as a child, and I'm 100. <laughs> <laughs> I don't drive. No. No. Which I do think is relevant, and you might want to take into consideration. I mean, I, I just wrote down um, Catherine's driving licence should be taken off. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, Never had one. Well, Daisy was very fast around the course. Three minutes, 23. I think she would have won a lot of new remote-controlled caddy chicken swap fans. 
However, <sighs> but, but she's disqualified because she hit the mini uh, robot. She did hit the mini robot. She didn't care. No. no. <laughs> 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 Catherine, on the other hand, was very slow and disqualified oh. as well. She took over a quarter of an hour. Over, I was a quarter of an hour. Oh, yes. <laughs> it, it went very quickly. It did not. <laughs> so, points-wise, Greg... Yep. We've got five points with Mawan Rizwan, obviously. 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 We've got four points for Johnny, three points for Richard. That's right. But what about these ladies? They were disqualified. Zero points oh. for Daisy and Catherine. OK. May I see a scoreboard, please? You may. At one end, we have Daisy with two, but at the other, it's Moan with ten. Wow. Ooh, wow, look at that. Strong start. Yeah. Right, how about a new task? Good shout. And this one's a lovely, complicated team one. <laughs> oh, hello. Hello, Richard. Hello, Moan. Hey, Alex. Shall I open this? Yes, please. Is that going to self-destruct? Tell your teammate what is in this safe. You may speak into this microphone and they will hear your message played backwards. You have ten minutes to open the safe and record your message. Most accurate answer wins. Your time starts now. There's a mic here. Yeah. So that is a cassette deck. What's that? There is a facility there to record yourself. I need to open the safe, though. It's a code for the safe. If, seven, if, for, four, three. So if it's four, seven, four, seven, it's seven, four, seven, four. Oh, good. It's seven, four, seven, four. <laughs> right, I get it. Backwards talking task. They had to record a message for their teammates to say what they discovered in the safe, and that message was going to be played backwards to them. First up, it's the team of three. <laughs> Good luck, Johnny. Good luck, Catherine. Thank you. Decipher the message to work out what is in this safe. There's a tape recorder, there's a notepad. Push on the right. The right. Lamb. Lamb? Lamb. Lamb. That's the only word I understood. War. War. Heaven. Heaven. War. War. Cushion. Cush cushion? Hang on. Oh! <gasps> what if it's something backwards? Right, let's do it again. OK. No shook. No shook. Cushion. Cushion. Is it mission? Hang on. Cushion or pushing? Cushion. Cushion. I cushion. I, I just. Hang on. Gentle. Push in, push in. I think it's cushion. What kind of cushion would ah. you be pushing? Whoopee. Well, what else does he say? Gerg. Gerg. Greg. 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 It's something about Greg. Mal. Mal. Lamb. 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 Yeah, but we can't go with like a mad gas like kebab. Sinequiz. You in? Oh my god. You in? <laughs> right, this is hardly CSI, is it? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Because I've got pushing, berry, war, and lamb. <laughs> pushing. 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 Greg. Greg. Greg twice. Which means flock in Latin. In. Flock. Or sheep or something. And he says lamb. You in? You in? <laughs> lamb. lamb. It's a it's a lamb with, on a cushion. That's what we've got. I think it's a lamb kebab. I think it's a lamb on a cushion. That's all like. Yeah, thanks, guys. Oh man. <laughs> uh, it's a sequin cushion. Oh my god, that's amazing! It's Greg with the lamb. Oh, nice. I just thought we were so wide of the mark. You didn't know it was backwards for. No. A lot of it. But it was really fun to watch. The only problem was he managed to explain to them that it was a lamb on a cushion, but it wasn't. It was an alpaca. OK, if you want to get technical. They seemed to do well. They got it was a lamb on a cushion. They didn't get the sequins or, or you in the end. You mentioned Greg a couple of times, but pretty good. Well done. Well done. OK, that's another part complete. Alex, do your famous Schwarzenegger impression. We will be back. We'll be back. <laughs> we will be back. <laughs> <laughs>
talking about Taskmaster. It's the start of part three, and time for Alex's recap. <laughs> 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 Oh, I didn't know about that. Yeah, that is good. I thought you'd like it. Yeah, it is good. <laughs> yes, here it is. We're currently in the thick of a fiendish backwards task where one teammate has to describe the contents of a safe in a message which will be played backwards to their teammates. The team of three have had their attempt. We now know there was a cushion with a picture of Greg and an alpaca on it. So all that's left is to watch Richard and Daisy as they demonstrate their communication skills. <laughs> <laughs> now, I do a lot of ghost recordings. So this is one of my specialities, is figuring out what the ghosts are saying. Huh? So it's just a red pillow with sequins. Oh, that's nice. It's got uh, the Taskmaster and uh, a sheep. Uh, Oh, in a... Oh, I mean, is this message actual words or is it letters? Red Red pillow. Hello. Oh. Oh. M. M. O. Hello. 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 Sequins. Sequins. Milkies? What's that for? What's, sounds like a number. Milkies? Hey, it's probably telling me some sort of code. Seven? Milkies. Milkies, milkies. <laughs> Fuck. Eh? Milkies. I mean, uh, what, what? that's just mad. Oh, N-O. Oh, N-O. OK, what do you think's in the safe, Daisy? A pair of sunglasses. Why didn't you put me a cuff from Parkinson? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know where to start. <laughs> I mean, thank God you weren't in charge of code breaking. In <laughs> we would be waking up to the sound of jackboots. <laughs> I mean, interestingly, I genuinely don't know who to blame. No, I was, it wasn't good. The red pillow was the only thing that came out. It felt like trying to order in a foreign restaurant. <laughs> Milkies. <laughs> <laughs> well, the trouble is, Richard did some forwards and some backwards. There wasn't a lot of consistency. So... Well, because so I didn't was, know... I've was... never spoken backwards. I didn't know whether it was better to Nobody's do it forwards and let you try and work it out. backwards, Richard. <laughs> you've got O-N-O and Milkies. <laughs> <laughs> and, in the, and in the dying seconds of the task, you said, I think this might be a code. <laughs> <laughs> the team of three did work out there was a cushion... Yeah, they did. ..with a sheep on or some sort of animal. Right, that's pretty good. What about giving the most points to either me or Richard for who you thought was better in the It's team impossible task. to separate you. He was bad at his job and you... Uh, you weren't even speaking. You were just... <laughs> I can't give you anything for that. So zero for Daisy obviously, and zero for Rich. It's obviously right. zero. OK, well, that's easy enough. But for the, these three, they, they got quite a bit, didn't they? They did. All right, I'll give, them th I'll give them three points each and that's an end to it. Three points each yeah. and that is the end of it. There we go. I think we should have another task. I do too. And I will now prove it. <laughs> Make the best marble run. The marble that rolls for the longest time wins. After releasing your marble, you may not touch your marble nor do anything to affect its movement. You have 30 minutes and one official attempt. 
Your time starts now. Brilliant. I think I'm going to get some pipes. I have, I've never made a marble run. I actually, that's the first time I've heard of that as a phrase, marble run. I've never rolled a marble before. Why not? I don't know, I just never played marbles as a kid. That's a shame. Yeah, well, I had a PS1, so... <laughs> this is a thing of beauty. This is a contraption that will... Not only will you see the longest marble run, it will power this house for two minutes. <laughs> Who needs wind? <laughs> when you've got a Vegas marble run. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just sorry. Don't be sorry. It's good to be ambitious. Mm, who needs wind? Who, who needs wind when you've got a Vegas marble run? I should explain what a marble run is in case people don't know. A marble run... Well, the only person who doesn't know what a marble run is is Catherine. Yeah. I've never heard of that. Catherine, a marble run uses gravity to assist in keeping a marble moving. Yeah. First of all, we're going to see the prep work of three equally popular cast members. It's Daisy, Richard and Johnny. <laughs> Where can I start my, uh, my marble run? It's all the stuff Mother never allowed me to play with. Well, it rolls off there, onto there. This looks good, this looks good! Where's the end of the tape gun? Oh, God. That might be it. Right, that's not going to work. I want to a, a plumber who worked like this. <laughs> yes, come on, this is getting good. One minute. One minute. Right. Yes, yes. I think we're ready to rock and roll. No more building, please, Richard. Johnny's the only competitor in Taskmaster history who looks like he needs things to go well. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you the thing that interested me is it's such a needy profession, this, isn't it? You know, sometimes I'll come off set and I'll say to Alex, was I nasty enough? Did I <laughs> victimise anyone enough? You know, we all need it, but Daisy doesn't, because Daisy's her own cheerleader. <laughs> <laughs> She's constantly saying, this is brilliant, <laughs> I'm so great. <laughs> Do you want to start with Daisy? Oh, yeah, do I? Because it's got to be good. You told me it is. <laughs> <laughs> OK, let's see how Daisy's went. OK, are we ready? Godspeed. Keep going. Oh, yes! Well done, me. <laughs> and you a little bit. Thank you, Daisy. Very good. Hey. Yeah. Very good. Well done, you. <laughs> <laughs> what was the whole uh, licking the marble thing about? I thought that's what she wanted me to do. I, I she, couldn't... No. She didn't ask you to. I thought people tended to lick marbles before releasing Yeah, them. didn't like it. How did Daisy do? <laughs> Pretty good. It went duck, 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 and it carried on rolling for 11 seconds and 21 frames. Who's next? Johnny. <sighs> Who needs wind when you've got a Vegas marble run? Here we go. <laughs> Ready? Three, two, one. Quick, 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 Alice! <laughs> go, boy, go! Got it. Stop the clock. <sighs> okay, well, thanks, Johnny. I'll take your part, man. <laughs> Very good. You are right, though. I looked far too emotionally invested in that, didn't I? In all of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was pretty good and also provided us with the most tragic final tableau of any task <laughs> across <laughs> 10 series. <laughs> I mean, you weren't actually allowed to affect the ball after you let go of it, so luckily it didn't have any effect at all. No. Oh, oh, oh OK. So you got away with that. It was only eight seconds and six frames, but it did exactly what you wanted it to do. Well, lastly, but not leastly, at least 
Lee, not yet Lee. It's Richard, Keith, Harris, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> It was great up to there. If I'd just let it go down the slope without any of this stuff, it would have gone much further. Ah, oh, well. Thank you, Richard. Thank you, no, I'm happy, I'm happy. All right, goodbye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> well, Richard summed it up there, really, isn't he? His what? progress was hampered by all of the work. <laughs> <laughs> but he's happy, he's happy. <laughs> and he ends up with almost exactly the same time as Johnny. Slightly longer, though. Eight seconds and 23 frames. Oh. So he's in oh. both second and second last. Time to pause for <laughs> the last adverts of the show. When we come back, someone will win Johnny Vegas's precious porcelain throne and a cornetto. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are then, safely lodged in the last part of the show. Before the break, the rivals were trying to make a marble roll for the longest amount of time. So far, we've seen Johnny, Richard and Daisy's attempt so far, and so far, Daisy's in the lead with a time of 10 seconds so far. Now, his head is the closest in size to the marble. It's my one. <laughs> what does this, Alex? Come on, two brains. I'm going to take this to him, is that all right? Be very careful with it. I will, be really careful. It's like le legit glass, isn't it? Yeah, shit. Sure. Okay. The washing machine. Is the marble dirty? Uh, no, but the washing machine rolls. You want to put the marble in the washing machine? Yeah. That's in, is it? Yeah. Slow spin, delicate. Delicates? Yeah. 30 degrees. Why? Just because it's glass, isn't it? <laughs> OK, I'm going to turn it on. Good luck. Oh. I haven't started rolling yet. I'll start the clock when it starts rolling. OK. Mm. Oh, it's, it's rolling. It's doing it. 60 minutes. OK, well, I guess I'll stay and watch. Oh, oh, oh. That didn't sound great. And I'll let you know what time you get. Thank you, Moan. Great. OK. Pleasure, man. Thanks for putting let me... Let me know when you need me to break another household appliance. All right. Thank you, Moan. <laughs> Clever in principle. Go on. Read the task out to me again, please. Make the best marble run. The marble that rolls for the longest time wins. Right. I don't know whether anyone wants to debate with me, but I feel it was rolling. But you did point out that once my marble had stopped, if I'd have moved it with the leaf blower, it, it wouldn't have counted. Just say, after yeah. releasing your marble, you may not touch your marble nor do anything to affect its movement. That thing you said at the end... I didn't do anything. He released the marble, then put the washing machine on, so he did something in order Ooh, to affect... Yeah. I hadn't mm. even thought of that. Mm. It's uh, true. Lovely. You I, not... I, I didn't applaud. against me. I, I'm just glad that I've he said it. I've for you. <laughs> and when it comes to sticking to the rules, I've been a real arsehole this series. <laughs> Yeah. So if I wasn't an asshole to you, it would look like I favoured you because you're young and got so much in front of you, so much hope. But don't kill that hope. I'm not going to kill the hope. I'm just going to make the hope realistic about expectations. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tempted to give him one of my rarely handed out bonus points. Well, you can think about it a bit more. We've got one more person to see. Catherine Parkinson's attempt. Yes, please. Here it is. We are cooking with gas. No, we're not. That's not going to work at all. God. That's quite pleasing. I mean, that's a marble run. Yeah. <gasps> this is great. Just try and raise it gently. <laughs> I'm nervous that my official go will go wrong, so I'd like to get it done. OK, well, I'm going to um, start the timer when you release the marble. Good luck. Thanks.
Stop the timer. Thank you. That was fun. Thank you for your model run, Catherine. Goodbye. Bye. Wow, wow. Brilliant. Wow. That is your finest work. <laughs> This series. <laughs> the only one. I genuinely thought that reaction is what I'd get for the washing machine. I imagine everyone should just stand up and applaud me. <laughs> but you sort of did get that, but then Catherine so overshadowed it. I now think the washing machine thing's shit. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. I did. It's awful. It's so fickle, isn't it? It took the same length of time it takes me to do my laces, my buttons, and my hair 32.4 seconds. Oh, it's a long time. Yeah. She's never, uh, she never uh, even heard of a marble run. And that yeah. and she created the greatest marble. Sometimes you need someone just to come in from the outside. Fresh. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, Catherine gets the five points. Daisy second with four points. Richard three. Johnny two. But what are we going to do with Moan? Give him nothing. Not so. even one. <laughs> <laughs> Lazy. Use that bonus point. Yeah, I know, but I've seen that now. <laughs> Does he not even get one for coming to the last? the rest of my life ahead nothing. of me. If you keep talking about it, I'm going to give him a minus point. <laughs> So he's disqualified in the end. Yeah, from the whole show. <laughs> <laughs> Quick look at the scores before the final task. Yeah, well, Mawan is in the lead with 13 <laughs> points. <laughs> Next generation, baby! <laughs> OK, please stand up and get ready for the final task of the show! Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Who uh, is going to read the task for us? Daisy May Cooper. Please. Communicate to the taskmaster the item on your card. You may only make noises. You may not use any actions or anything that sounds like a word. Slowest communicator each round is eliminated. Last communicator standing wins. They've just got to use noises, so they're going to be holding their umbrellas in front of them to stop them gesturing. First round, animals. Lovely. It's down to you to guess them. So if yeah, you want to look, to Daisy, at your card number one. Good luck. Your time starts. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> A seal? <laughs> A wolf? He's <laughs> 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 giving birth. Jesus, that is the worst <laughs> elephant in the world. What noise would you have made? I go. Is that what I did? <laughs> Basically. Okay, so Johnny, you're up next. Okay, here we go. <laughs> uh, a tiger. <laughs> a donkey. <laughs> a mule. <laughs> I haven't got a fucking clue. <laughs> <laughs> a fox. 58 seconds. Daisy is now through to round two. OK, here comes Catherine. Good luck. A chick, a baby chick. <laughs> a mouse. <laughs> a puppy. Yes, yes, stick with the same strategy, yeah. <laughs> a crow. It's not coming out as uh, I want it to come out. A calf. <laughs> it's not a land animal. <laughs> it's a sea animal. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> a seagull. <laughs> oh, it's in the water. How am I supposed to know what an underwater animal is? Well, it's one that's got quite a distinctive noise, but it's not this. <laughs> <laughs> a lobster. No. <laughs> Dolphin? It's a dolphin, obviously. Yes! Oh. Now, who can't do a dolphin in practice? Catherine Pot, right. <laughs> OK, so, Moan, if you can do this in under two minutes, five seconds, you make it through. <laughs> so, I mean, good luck. Why don't I just start listing animals? You'll still win. <laughs> Here we go. Good luck. It's not easy. A kookaburra. A, a, a piglet. A pig. <sighs> Cr a cricket. <laughs> it is a cricket. It he is. was virtually ah. saying cricket. I was not. Also, a lot of animals are named onomatopoeically, so I can't help it. Right. That is true, they are. Mm. Right. Under two minutes and five seconds, we'll see you through to the next round. Richard, your time starts. <laughs> a chicken. <laughs> Good, you've made it. Wow. That was easy. <laughs> <laughs>
We're through to round two. We've lost Catherine Parkinson. Round two, you'll be pleased to hear, is machines. Oh, great. Richard to go first. Gears. A, a gearbox. Uh, the, the Camelot machine that announces the <laughs> lottery. <laughs> A stapler. Yeah. Oh. Oh. One minute five for stapler. Please rotate. That was hard. I mean, chicken was easy. I'll give you that. OK, are you ready for this one, Daisy? Good luck, Taskmaster. Oh, no, fax machine. That was pretty oh. good. Oh. That was very good. That was class. That was very good. Good luck, Johnny. Your time starts. Train. Sewing machine. <laughs> <laughs> it's a boat. <laughs> An aeroplane. It's on an aeroplane. <laughs> a helicopter. Really? Yeah. <laughs> you get it. Yeah, eight. Okay. Bullshit. <laughs> so the last machine. It's my one. <laughs> Microwave. 33 seconds, he's through, and we've lost Richard Herring. So it's round three, and we're moving on to food types. Right, good luck, Moan. Your time starts. That is a funky fruit. <laughs> An apple. <laughs> <laughs> It's not banana. No, it's a breakfast item. I'll give you that. Oh, pssst. What? <laughs> cornflakes. Yes! It was so obvious it was cornflakes. <laughs> OK, 1 minute 38 to beat. Off we go. <laughs> oh, a lovely sausage. It is a lovely very sausage. Good. Very good, Daisy. Very good. Nice. Really nice. Will Johnny join Daisy in the final? Your time starts. Oh, spaghetti. Johnny through to the final! <laughs> We've reached the final, and it's musical instruments this time. Oh, easy. Good luck, Johnny. Your time starts. <laughs> Hi hat. Boom, 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 boom. A one man band. <laughs> Drum kit. Boom, 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 boom. Um, tambourine. It is a tambourine. 23 oh, seconds. It's good, good. It's but it's gettable. Good. It's definitely gettable, and I'm up against the best. 23 seconds to win the task. Good luck, Daisy. Oh. Piano. Oh. A harp. It is a harp with 17 seconds, Daisy. It's the winner! <laughs> Come back down, we'll have it to the final scores. <laughs> Greg. Very uh, good. That must have uh, shaken things up. It has shaken things up. I must say that my baby was going absolutely mental in some ways. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you some numbers now if you want, please. Well, series-wise, it's as close as it's ever been. We've got Catherine on 90 points. There is a slight gap now, sorry, Catherine, to Richard and Mawan on 106. Johnny now in second place on 109, Daisy on 116. So just 10 separating four people. But this week's episode is not won by anyone yet. It's a tiebreak between Mawan and Johnny, who've both got 16 points. Ooh. Ooh. Hi. How are we going to decide, Alex? With a tiebreak that will answer the age-old question, Greg, because they had to work out how many sheets there are on a loo roll in 30 seconds. Closest wins. So here's how they got on. Um... I think 300 something. Come on! 16 seconds. <laughs> uh, so, 468. 360. One, two, three, four. Ah, uh, I'm not. I'm not. 403. Uh, 280. Okay. 280. Yeah. <laughs> Very different techniques. Wow. <laughs> I was not expecting 280 as a guess. It's so specific <laughs> compared to the madness <laughs> of his process. <laughs> Johnny guessed 280 sheets. Moan guessed 403 sheets. The correct answer is 
220 sheets. <gasps> Johnny wins! Oh, <laughs> man. It was a reliable technique after all. Incredible. <laughs> Johnny wins. Please go and rejoice with your top heavy things. Enjoy Whee! that toilet! First time winner. <laughs> so, what have we learned today? If you're compiling your all time bucket list, please don't forget to complete the magical swimming with dolphins. Moo! <laughs> <laughs> Bye for now, everyone. <laughs> but hello for now. Once again, <laughs> to today's winner, it's Johnny Vega! <laughs>